okay so now that we are done with the first wall let's see how we can make this uh, roof uh, portion here so for that let's just duplicate these around here and uh, we can use booleans uh, to cut out uh, that angle uh, so let's uh, see how we can approach that so we're going to add a mesh let me go to layout I'll rotate this 90 degrees to face me and uh, just scale it down to fit uh, the shape of our roof of our top part like that let me bring back our reference image here and uh, I can select these top vertices and scale them down to something like that. Extrude this. And uh, if we select this, let me first turn off the subdivisions. Uh, select Booleans, and then use this our, <coughs> our object. I, th I think intersect is good, so I can apply that and uh, delete this. So we have this we just have to fix a few issues here and i think the easiest way to do this is uh, to remove this end gone is by deleting it completely select this loop select the top and then the bottom right click and then bridge so that we have that do the same this side then bridge okay we have a few issues here so let's first fix those delete that and i will remove this edge merge this vertex so again let's do the same bridge i will need uv's same control e max same and wrap go to texture mode so the uvs are facing the wrong direction so we again need to rotate them Still not facing the right direction. Let's unwrap this again. Maybe mark the same at the bottom as well. So make sure that uh, there are no issues here. So. again I think that's better you see we have that now we need to make this part here so let's go to layout again I'll turn back to solid mode uh, for this let me select these and move them away I just need one copy here so select this rotate 90 degrees rotate Z 90 degrees so it should be something like that uh, but if you look closely uh, these walls are not aligned aligned correctly are, are not align directly you can see is this pattern here that goes like that instead of this direct match so we need to move uh, this up a bit one lobe uh, to something like that you can also try to align uh, the vertices uh, the edges so if 
Oke, okay, select this block ya. Just make sure that uh, these let's is at least aligned maybe yeah, they won't align perfectly because I think so this we want something like that. Is it? Let me see. Let me see. should be something like that. So let me go to shading to get this here. Uh, but uh, we're having some under occlusion issues here. Um, let's see, let's see. We're going to fix them in a second. Okay, so I think if we select this, let me delete uh, these subdivisions and add <coughs> Boolean, select this object. As the boolean object set the operation to union and this is what we get and uh, if i apply the boolean we can delete uh, the boolean object now we just need to clean this up so if we go to uv sorry to solid think we can select uh, this loop here that starts there up to the bottom like that and remove doubles and just increase the merge distance so that we don't have too many vertices in there like that maybe also merge this to that <coughs> we need to do the same for this side remove doubles also join these two vertices do the same for the bottom part uh, I think we also need to do this remove double thing again for this side may not have done it remove doubles let's try increasing the mic distance even further and see if we can remove maybe let's not remove everything let's just remove that And select we can unwrap this and see how it looks it's a mess so let's add a few more seams control e max seam control e max seam so we are going to have a few issues with this gradient so I need to figure out how to fix that uh, but uh, for now let's first see how to first pick, fix the UVs we have right now I think I can also you can also use the UV editor to 
mark different seams but uh, let's just do it directly here E, mark same and wrap. I think uh, those are better uses. We need to rotate them again. And uh, now we can work on this texturing problem here in the next part.